Right then, this one's dreaded. I really hate doing this one. Um, it uses, we, we kind of switch an angle into a double angle. But what it means is, because 2a is twice as much as a, it means I can have a over 2 and a is twice as much as a. So we can have half angles. And this is really, really messy. And you've got to see that I've replaced a 2a with an a, so that a becomes a over 2 on the equations. But it's really, really messy. I might write that here. Replace 2a with a, so a becomes a over 2. That in itself, right, that is confusing. Right, now then, let's have a look at these cos. We need, we need to do something with the cos ones. So I knew if I replaced the cos 2a with 1 minus sine squared, I would have cos 2a is 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Which means, for this one, I can have that cos a is 1 minus 2 sine squared of a over 2. And on the original, this one back over here, the cos 2a formula, if I switch the sine squared into 1 minus cos squared, I can have 2 cos squared minus 1. So then by the same idea, instead of 2a, I've got a. So instead of a here, I've got a over 2. I don't like this example. It's not come up on our papers. It's come up on further maths papers. It's not come up on our papers. Hard. Really hard. Right, now then. Let's have a look at this. What I, need. I need to use the equations up here. So it tells me to solve the trig equation sine squared equals 2 sine squared theta over 2. Right, so what I need to do is change this. Uh, in fact, let's have a look. Because I've got a 2 sine squared. Oh, no. So if I change all of it, so not just the sine squared, what I want to do is change this. So I know from my equation that cos, now if I change theta into, uh, so change a into theta, I've got an equation now which is 1 minus 2 squared, uh, 2 sine squared theta over 2. If I do like a little bit of rearranging, then I've got 2 sine squared theta over 2. It's 1 minus cos theta. So my equation, so this is like a little bit of working. The right hand side of my equation, that can now just be 1 minus cos theta. I told you, we're going to write this. So my sine squared theta is equal to 2 sine squared theta over 2 will become sine squared theta is 1 minus cos theta. Now then, this is a little bit nicer now, because if I had, if I just had that equation to solve, I would naturally change this into 1 minus cos squared theta. And then I can rearrange it as a quadratic. Oh, my one's cancelled. So that would give me cos theta is 0 or cos theta is 1. There. So that's quite messy. It looks, the way I've explained it, hopefully isn't too bad. But I've noticed that the a over 2 and the a are linked. 
But getting that equation out is just really, really difficult. The completed pattern isn't really help us very much. It's quite hard to see it from the completed pattern. So I'm still in radians. I'm doing it over naught to pi. So I'd have uh, theta again comes out as pi by 2. I'd look on the graph. I get pi by 2 and I get 3 pi by 2. Then for cos theta is 1, I get theta out of 0. And then if I look on the graph, I get 0 and 2 pi. There. there. Absolutely, I hate doing that example because of the double angle bit. But it is, it's the thing, isn't it? I just, you can't take that chance. Oh, it could come up on the paper. Uh, sorry about that, everyone. But I think the next page is consolidation, so that's the end of that lesson. So that's quite nice. We'll see you later.